good day everyone so for today's video i am going to discuss the historical background of the fingerprint science under my discussion includes a brief history in the ancient world the modern world the u.s fingerprint history and of course the philippines history of fingerprints to include also the important personalities and their contributions. So first in the ancient world, in ancient China, evidence exists that there are documented fingerprint use way back 3,000 years ago to sign the legal documents wherein thumbprints were found on clay seals and fingerprint is called huachi in China. Also, Chinese legal documents or business contracts were identified with the Tang dynasty. Kia Yung Yen, who is a Chinese historian and an author during this time, wrote of fingerprints use in an older method of preparing contracts. He stated, that wooden tablets were engraved with full terms of contract and the notches were cut in the sides where they were identical so that the tablets could later be matched or tallied thus proving them genuine in nova scotia there has been also found a prehistoric indian picture writing of a hand with crudely marked ridge patterns in the ancient babylon the fingerprint impressions was used also on clay tablets in recording business transactions as a means of identification. Some of these seals can be seen in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. The Chinese documents identified with the Tang Dynasty, which refers to the fingerprint being impressed upon business contracts. It is conjectural as to what extent these earlier instances of fingerprinting were intended for actual identification of persons impressing the prints. However, history shows that Emperor Te In Shi was the first to use fingerprint in China. In Persia, during the 14th century, various government papers were reportedly impressed with fingerprints and a government official who was also a physician made the observation that no fingerprints of two persons were exactly alike. Furthermore, in Egypt, there has been reported or evidence that there is a small portion of palm print found in a hardened mud. Likewise, in the Bible, some inferred that Apostle Paul used his finger impression as distinctive signature. Now let's proceed with the historical background of fingerprint science in the modern world. First, in 1686, Marcelo Malpighi noticed the ridges, spirals, and loops. In 1823, John Porkinji published a discussion of the nine fingerprint patterns. In 1858, Sir William Herschel required Indians to sign contracts with handprints and later with fingerprints. In 1880, Dr. Henry Folds recognized the importance of fingerprints as a means of identification. In 1888, Francis Galton published fingerprints which discussed the anatomy of the fingerprint and the pattern types. While in 1891, Juan Bosetich created a fingerprint classification system in Argentina. In 1897, Sir Edward Richard Henry created another fingerprint classification system in England. The details of these contributions made by these personalities will be discussed in detail later on. Next is the historical background of fingerprint science 
in the United States. It's just the brief history. First, in 1901, the New York City Civil Service Commission adopted fingerprinting for personal identification of all the applicants, and this is the first in the U.S. In 1903 is the Will and William West case, wherein a prisoner named Will West arrived at Leavenworth. The record clerk took one look at the West mugshots and insisted that he had seen him before. West disagreed and said that he had never been in Leavenworth before. Will West denied previous imprisonment, but the record clerk ran the Bertillon system over him and retrieved the file based on the West measurements. A file of mugshot was showed to West and he was confused. To cut the story short, the man in the mugshot had the same exact measurements as West and was virtually identical. When the clerk turned over William West's record card, he found that it was a man already in the penitentiary serving a life sentence for murder. Subsequently, the fingerprints of Will West and William West were impressed and compared, and the patterns bore no resemblance. The incident called the reliability of Bertillon measurements into question. Since the Bertillon measurements during that time is the accepted means of identifying people. So it was then decided that a more positive means of identification was necessary. To continue with the history of U.S., in 1904, the World's Fair in St. Louis was conducted, wherein the representatives from Scotland Yard trained several U.S. police officials. Whereas in 1906, the U.S. Army began using fingerprints. So in 1924, the Identification Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation was established. In 1948, the Automated Fingerprint Identification System was introduced. In 1977, the world's first certification program for fingerprint experts has been given. In 2009, the automated fingerprint identification system was upgraded, and in 2010, the integrated automatic fingerprint identification system is operated by the FBI. In the history of fingerprint science in the Philippines, sometime in the year 1900, Mr. Jones was the one to teach fingerprints in the Philippines with the Philippine Constabulary. In 1918, the records of the Bureau of Prison shows that in the year 1918, Carpetas, which contains the commitment and the conviction records, already bear fingerprints. Likewise, during the Philippine Commonwealth government, a modern and complete fingerprint file has been established under the management of Lieutenant Asa Darby during the American occupation in the Philippines. In 1924, the first National Bureau of Identification was created by the Act of the Congress that has been established with the U.S. Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. In December 23, 1933, the first conviction based on fingerprints was handed by the Supreme Court of the Philippines. In the case of the people of the Philippines versus Medina, this was considered the leading judicial decision in the Philippine jurisprudence concerning the science of fingerprinting. Agrippino Ruiz, who is the Philippine Constabulary Fingerprint Expert, testified in that case of Phil people of the Philippines versus Medina, wherein he presented 10 points of identity on both the latent and the ink prints. While in 1937, Captain 
Thomas Dugan of the New York City Police Department and Mr. Flaviano Herrero of the Federal Bureau of Investigation in Washington, D.C., were the ones who gave the first examination of fingerprints in 1937. Mr. Generoso Reyes was the first Filipino fingerprint technician which was employed by the Philippine Constabulary. Likewise, the science of fingerprinting was first offered as a subject in the Philippines through the effort of the Plaridel Educational Institution, which is now known as the PCCR or the Philippine College of Criminology. Now, let us proceed with the important personalities who have contributed in the development of fingerprint science. First is Nehemiah Gru. In 1684, he wrote the first documented interest in skin ridges in the Western world, entitled The Philosophical Transaction. This is mainly of anatomical nature, and he presented his observation on the appearance of ridges on the palms and fingers before the Royal so Society in London, England. He described the pores of the hands and the feet and showed a drawing of the configurations on the palms. Next is Govard Bidlo in 1685. He made a thesis entitled Anatomical Humanis Corporis, which described the appearance and the arrangement of ridges on the thumb. His drawing depicted the breadth of individual ridges to show the individual characteristics of the ridge surface. Another important personality was Professor Marcelo Malpighi in 1686. He is a plant morphologist at the University of Bologna, Italian anatomist, and it is known as the grandfather of dactyloscopy, according to Edmund Lockhart. He commented in his writings on elevated ridges on the fingertips and alluded to diverse figures on the palmar surface. Moving on, J.C. Mayer or Johann Christoph Andreas Mayer, the pioneer of the principle of individuality. He is actually the first scientist to recognize fingerprints to be unique. He theorized that the arrangement of friction ridges were unique and the first to state that prints of two different persons are never alike. In his book, he said that although arrangement of the skin ridges is never duplicated in two persons, nevertheless, the similarities are closer among individuals. Next is Herman Welker. In 1856, he undertook experiment to support the statement of J.C. Mayer by printing his right palm to prove to himself if the ridges change. In 1897, he printed his right palm, and after 41 years, he again reprinted his right palm to prove that prints do not change. He then published the palm prints showing that though taken two scores apart, it proved that the ridge characteristics did not change but it only changes in size. Next is Professor Johannes Evangelist Poor Kinji in 1823, a professor of anatomy at the University of Breslau, Germany. He published the most detailed description of fingerprint to have appeared anywhere up to that time. He published a thesis in Latin which is a commentary on the physiological examination of the organs of vision and the cutaneous system. 
He described with illustration the nine fingerprint patterns classified in Latin. However, he did not refer to the fingerprints or use them for identification. He is considered the father of dactylos copy. Workinge's nine types of fingerprint patterns includes the transverse curve, the central longitudinal stria, the oblique stria, the oblique sinus, the almond, spiral, ellipse or elliptical whirl, circle or circular whirl, and the double whirl. Another personality is Sir William Herschel in 1858. In Hooghly district of Bengal, India, began the first known official use of fingerprints in large scale. He used fingerprints in India to prevent fraudulent collection of army pay account and for identification of other documents. The prints was used as a form of signature on the documents due to high level of illiteracy in India and frequent attempts of forgery. The first person Herschel printed appears to have been one Rayadhar Konai. He did not however develop a method of classification suitable for general use. In 1877, Herschel requested permission to take the fingerprints of prisoners in jail but the request was denied. He is considered also as the father of chiroscopy. He is considered as the first European of the modern period to practice fingerprint identification. Likewise, he conceived a broader usefulness of science, which is the registration of prints as a measure against false personation or to prevent or avoid impersonation. He changed later this procedure on recording only the first joint of the finger. In other words, the first that he used in recording is the palm prints and then later on only the first joint of the finger. Next is Henry Folds during the 19th and early 20th centuries. He is actually a Scottish missionary doctor of the United Presbyterian Church. He made the greatest advances in the fingerprint science because he initiated the use of printer's ink and printing of all 10 fingers. He first became interested in fingerprint after 1874 while working at the hospital he established in Chukiji, Tokyo, Japan. And his important conclusion was that fingerprint do not change and that finger marks or the latin prints left on objects by bloody or greasy fingers may lead to the scientific identification of criminals. He then took his own fingerprints and noted that no change had occurred in them for over 50 years. He had a small collection of about 20 sets of fingerprints and use his techniques of hand printing to detect forgeries of legal document. Next personality is Juan Vosetich. He is an Argentinian police officer who researched on the science of fingerprints and corresponded with Galton. In September 1891, his own system of fingerprint classification, which is the Ignofalago Metrico, was in practice and was adopted in Argentina and being used today in most Spanish-speaking countries in South America. In March 1892, he opened the first fingerprint bureau at San Nicolas, Buenos Aires, wherein the first conviction by means of fingerprint evidence in a murder trial was obtained. Next is Sir Francis Galton in 1892. He is an Englishman 
which provided needed impetus that made the police agencies aware of its potential application. He was the one who first to establish the fingerprint classification. Francis Galton is a noted British anthropologist and a cousin of scientist Charles Darwin. He made a publication which is an accurate and in-depth study of the fingerprinting science that included an attempt at a system of fingerprint classification to facilitate the handling of large collections of fingerprints. He was actually the one who discovered the three families of the fingerprint patterns, namely the arch, the loop, and the whirl. He is the pioneer of the Galton details. His eminence rests on the appearance of the ridge characteristics. Galton details are more commonly called as the characteristics or points of identity and consists of three basic parts, which includes the ridge endings, the bifurcation, and the dots. He began his observation which led to the publication of his book entitled Fingerprints in 1882. His study established the individuality of classifying the fingerprint patterns. Next is Sir Edward Richard Henry. In 1888, he succeeded Sir William Herschel at his post in India. He became interested in fingerprints and devised a classification of his own and published his work, book form, entitled it, Classification and Uses of Fingerprints. In 1889, Sir Richard Henry in England have read a paper detailing his system before the British Association for Advan Advancements of Science. In 1897, he has been given tuition in fingerprints by Galton to devise a workable classification system independently of Vosetich and implemented it in India. In 1900, he published his book Classification and Uses of Fingerprints. In 1901, Sir Edward Richard Henry was appointed the assistant commissioner at Scotland Yard. His system was also claimed and officially adopted in Wales as well as throughout England. The system was so applicable that Henry emerged as the father of fingerprints and at least as the first man to successfully apply fingerprints for identification. His system was useful that it was adapted by the FBI with modification and extensions. And in 1902, the first British court conviction by fingerprint was obtained. So after 10 years after the publication of Henry's book, his classification was used by police forces and prison authorities throughout the English-speaking world. And in 1924, the fingerprints were officially adopted in France, replacing the Bertillon system. If you like this video, please subscribe in the Gemali world and click the notification for more videos. Thank you.